Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Welcome back to Mathematics Points. Students, today we'll do chapter 3. NSM 1 Basic Algebra and Algebraic Manipulation. That is chapter 3 in new books. And chapter 4, 4 in old books. Okay, in new book it is in page 69. Whereas in old one it is in page 90. So in practice now too we have to solve the algebraic term. So expression. First of all, you can uh, see this expression which we have the x term values as well as y terms. So firstly, we arrange the terms. We write on the terms with x variable together 2x plus 8x. Then write on the terms with y terms together. So minus 5y plus 4y. Now, in the next step, we just solve the terms with same variable. Now, you can see that here we have the coefficient 2 have the variable x and 8 also have the variable x. So, we solve these two terms. 8 plus 2 become 10. And what is the variable of both x? Write on that variable. Now, minus 5 plus 4 plus minus minus whenever they are opposite sign the term will be subtracted 5 minus 4 1 and what is the variable for the terms 5 now what will be the sign here here you can see the term with greater term here 5 is greater and the greater term have the minus sign so we place a minus sign here now whenever there is a coefficient 1 so there is no need to write that one because whenever there is no any coefficient mentioned so that is mean there is a coefficient one so this is your part a now we move towards the part b so here just write on the part b in part b firstly we solve this bracket 11x whenever there is a minus sign outside the bracket so inner sign will be changed plus 5y minus 14x minus 2y now, just rearrange the terms, write down the terms with same variables together, 11x minus 14x, because both the terms have the variable x, 11x minus 14x, then terms with y variable plus 5y minus 2y. Now, we solve the term 11 minus 14. When there is no any sign, so that means there is a positive sign. Now, again, we have opposite sign here, plus, minus. Whenever there are two signs, opposite sign, plus, minus, the term will be subtracted. 14 minus 11, 3. What is the variable? X. Must write down the variables together. Then we have a greater term have the minus sign, so place the minus sign. Then 5 minus 2, 3. And what is the greater term sign plus write on the plus c and their variable here you can also take comment from here if it is mentioned in your book otherwise this is the answer in part c so firstly we solve the bracket terms M minus 9x minus minus plus or whenever there is a minus sign outside the bracket so inner sign will be changed why plus minus minus or positive sign will never affect the signs that is inside the bracket so inner sign will remain the same then minus y then we re rearrange the terms with x variable 9x minus 3x and plus y minus 7y okay now so the terms minus 9 minus 3 both the term having the same sign so terms will be added 9 plus 3 12 write down the variable the both terms have x then what will be the sign that both the terms have both the terms have minus sign so we'll place minus here then plus 1 minus 7 when there is no any coefficient that's when there is one coefficient minus 7 plus 1 is equal to minus 6 and write down the variable here again if there is any comments you take in common there is minus in both the terms and 6 is also divided in both the terms. So, we take minus 6 here. It will become 2x plus y. It is not necessary. You could also stop your question here. And this is an additional step. And this, in this step, I just take out 6 common both the terms. Because 6 2s are 12, 6 1s are 6 and there is minus in both the terms. So, we take the common term from both the terms outside the bracket. 
So in party we have two fraction terms. So first of all we take the LCM of 2 and 3. The LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. Now from which digit or from which term we multiply 2 so it becomes 6. When we multiply 2 with 3 it becomes 6. Multiply that 3 also with the numerator of that fraction. So we, here we write down the numerator because in the denominator it will become 6. 2 3s are 6 which we already written. So 3 1s are 3. Write down the variable also. What is the next sign? Minus and 3 2s are 6. Write, multiply numerator also with that 2. Oh yes. 2 1s are 2 and write down the x here. Now 3 minus 2 will become 1 and what is the variable x by 6. So this is your answer of part D. Now we do the part E. Here we have 7 by 4y minus 5 by 8 y. So first of all we take the LCM of uh, 4 and 8. The LCM of 4 of 8 is 8. Now we multiply 4 with 2 so it become 8. Similar multiply that to with also numerator to 2 sevens of 14, write then 14. And see in the course in that what is the variable here y. So always must put this variable with the term. What is the next sign here? Minus 8 ones are 8. So multiply this a 1 with numerator and denominator. 1 fives are 5. And what is the variable y? Now 14 minus 5 will be 9. Yes, 9y by 8. Now it is mixed uh, improper fraction, so we convert this improper fraction into proper fraction. Divide 9 by 8, 8 ones are 8. So write on mixed form 1, 1 and 8y. That is the answer. So students, here we have the question 2 part 1. Simplify the expression this, okay? This expression, we have to simplify the expression. Mm. Yes, you can see we have P, P term. First of all, we re uh, rewrite this uh, equation and uh, write the terms with same variable. Firstly, I will arrange for P, 2P and what is the other value, uh, P term in this expression? This one, minus 4P. This is the sign of this term, minus 4P. So, minus 4P. Okay, we have done with this expression. Now, for Q, minus 5q and what is the next term of q? This is next term of q plus 2q. Now we will find for r. You can see that this is plus 7r and what is the next r term here? Minus 3r. Now we just arrange the terms, place the same variable terms together. Now we solve. The terms with same variable will be able to solve. So here you can see that p, p, these two p terms will be solved. 2 minus 4 plus minus minus term will be subtracted 2 and what is the term of uh, sign of greater term minus minus 2p okay must write down the variable with the terms then minus 5 plus 2 minus 5 plus 2 again opposite sign one term having the minus sign the other term having the plus sign two opposite signs so terms will be subtracted 3 minus 2 uh, 5 minus 2, 3 and what will be the sign? The sign that the greater term have. 5 is greater than 2 now. So 5 having the sign minus. So we place the minus sign here. And what is the variable? Q. Then plus 7 minus 3. 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. And what is the sign of 7? Greater term is 7 and 7 having the sign plus. Right on the R. Now in the second part of this question, they said... Okay, if P is equal to 1 by 2 and Q is equal to 1 by 3, find the value of, okay, R is equal to 4. So, we uh, find the value of the expression when P is equal to this, Q is equal to this, R is equal to this. Okay, we have this expression. Now, we put the values, uh, all the values P, Q, R in this expression, find out the value of the expression. Okay, what the expression we have, I just rewrite this equation minus 2P minus 3q and plus 4r so we just put out the value minus 2 now we put the value of p what is the value of p 1 by 2 so place the bracket here write the 1 by 2 then minus 3 and what is the value of q you can look here the value of q 1 by 3 so write on the value of q 
Okay, you can see that whenever I put in the value, just place the bracket sign and place the term inside the bracket. Now plus 4 and what is the value of r? Here you can see that the value of r is 4. Yes, in the next step we just solve the term. Okay, j. Now 2 ones are 2 plus minus minus 2 ones are 2, 2 by 2 minus 3 by 3 and plus 4 fours are 16. So we get 1, 1, 3, 3. 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2, 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3. Here we get minus 1. Here what is left behind? 1. And here we get 16. Now we add minus 1, minus 1, minus 2 plus 16 and plus minus minus. 16 minus 2 is equal to 14. What is the sign of greater term? The greater term having the positive sign and this is the answer. 14 of or question 2 part 2. So students this is all done with the practice now too. I hope so that you understand the question. If you want that you have grip on these questions then do practice this question. Rather you have the question of exercise, word example as well as your review exercises. Mm. Still there is any query, so put, you can put your query in the comment box. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.